Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode four of season three of the Trivia 10, part one of this contestant of Nalbus going again. He was in he was in season two, of course, made it to the playoffs, made it to the Sweet 16, lost in the first round to K Meek. So ended up going on a great run all the way to the championship game. But Nalbus, you're back. You you're here for redemption. Mm -hmm. You're, uh, mm -hmm. you kind of know how it works now with the whole quadrant. So you, you're, you're in a group of, of six people. I'm not going to quite reveal where you're stacking up at this point. It's kind of going to okay. be a surprise <laughs> for the end and see where you stack up after you get your score. As uh, at this point, Doug's episode has been uploaded, but you, the other, other people in this uh, group, you are not too sure who they're going to be, but uh, how are you feeling yeah. coming off of the season two defeat in the first round of the playoffs? How are you doing? I, I I'm I'm feeling good, especially because we're leading to the like the more trivia questions as opposed to the um, box office stuff. I feel like I'm I probably got a bit more ball knowledge in that area, mm -hmm. so I feel a little bit better and got to be a little bit less like guessing and stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, I'm keen. I'm keen. Well, yeah, let's do this thing. Yeah, it's funny because each contestant has their own preferences. Like I know like Doug specifically, he says like the, the plot questions, the trivia questions on, on the movie is not a fan. But if it's, if it's not <laughs> the production of the film, he, he can he can knock okay. it out of the park. But uh, let's awesome. go ahead and get into this. So obviously new episodes every Tuesday and Friday. Leave a like button if you're enjoying this series so far, the trivia 10. But going into our 10 questions today. First question is going to be multiple choice. First three questions are going to be multiple choice, actually. Question one, in Old Boy, how long is Desu imprisoned in a mysterious room before being released? Is it five years, 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years? Okay. It's been, it's been a while since I've seen Old Boy. I've seen it once. I Before you even revealed the options, I was thinking 15. So I might just kind of stick with 15 since that's been kind of verified for me there. So we'll go 15. Well, you've only seen it once, but somewhere that deep inside that mine, 15 years was buried and you got to correct. Yeah. You're on the board early nice. five points off the bat. You got two more multiple choice questions. Question number two an avatar, the way of water. What is the name of the oceanic Navi clan? Is it the Omatakaya, the Mekayana, the Takami or the Anorai? It's the Mekayana. Love it, love it. We've had multiple Avatar lovers come on to this Trivia 10, and they all seem to knock them, <laughs> yeah, knock yeah. the questions out of the park or remember it lock and key. Yep. So anyone who says Avatar has no cultural impact, no one remembers anything about this, <laughs> these trivia contestants are proven. Like There are, there are shooter, plenty of shooters for Avatar out there, and they, they remember mm -hmm. the movie. It's not just all pretty Absolutely. visuals. It's a great film. <laughs> two for two, though. Lock, you're locked in, and we're going to number, the yep. third multiple choice question. In Edge of Tomorrow, what's the name Ooh. of the alien species being fought against? Is it the Mimics, Krakens, Phantoms, or Reapers? Mimics. <laughs> I think you might be the first one to see. Let me verify. Yes, you are the first one to get all three multiple choice questions correct. So I normally try and make the hey. earlier questions a little easier to get people okay. rolling, but okay. other people okay. have stumbled. So, you know, you're the fourth contestant to tackle season three. You're the only one three for three th through multiple choice so far. So if nothing else, you're going to hang your hat on that one. Okay. But now you don't have the crutch of multiple choice. We're going into the general trivia questions. We're just going to have to give me the answer to the question. Question four, in the Iron Giant, what is the name of the town that the story takes place? Oh, wow. This is, this is going to be a big deep dive into the recesses of my brain because this is one I haven't – I don't think I've – I might have revisited this like – years ago but i haven't i'm trying to think of um bits of dialogue here and there um because i remember like everything else i remember hogarth is the main character and all that stuff like i remember bits and pieces i remember dean dean <sighs> okay let's try to think here hmm because I'm, I'm thinking i'm remembering scenes there's the um there's the government guy, the corporal guy comes in. But I'm not the, the name of the town isn't jumping to me. I'm gonna give it a bit until I can think. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Because hmm. it's it's like I'm trying to think, like it said in the 1950s. It's like Redwoods on the outskirts. I don't know if it's a fictional town or not. I don't know if it's a real town or a fictional town. Oh. There's like opening shots, establishing shots. But I, yeah, I'm not feeling a name. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've got anything for you. Yeah, that, that's fine. Know. Absolutely, question. absolutely it's, nothing. It's, when it comes to something like this, when it's just a name, it's kind of like you either remember it or you don't. But the, the name of the town is Rockwell. Rockwell, Maine. Rockwell. If okay. that's real or fictional, I don't know. Maine has like 72 <laughs> people that live there. If one of you happens to be a Trivia 10 fan, let me know if Rockwell, Maine is a real place. Um, but no points for that one. Uh, so I had some people send right. me a list of like 25 of their favorite movies to do like to pull questions from. For you, mm -hmm. I just went to your letterbox. Um, and went to two lists I pulled from her. One was uh, favorite movie from every year you were alive. And I think Iron Giant mm -hmm. might have been the 99 one for that. And then the other one was would have been movies. Known, yeah. yeah, movies you've watched like a billion times as a kid for some reason or growing up or on repeat, something like that. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So okay. Those are the two I kind of pulled okay. most of them mm -hmm. from. But uh, big Iron Giant fan, all this. Okay, that's fine. best, according, according to you. But uh, going to number five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In Absolutely. Shaolin soccer, what team does the team Ooh. what team does Team Shaolin face in the final? I okay. Um, this is interesting because sometimes there are translation differences. So I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping this one doesn't have like alternate translations. I think from what I've experienced with the film in translation, I think they're literally just called evil team or like evil something. You are correct. Team evil. Team it's evil. Team evil. Okay. And straight okay, up is that. Cool. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad I was, I had the Google ready to see if there's any other alternate translation. If you would have said something like team, some synonym of evil, but um, no, team evil is correct. Uh, 10 points there back on the, the correct side of history, getting questions right. Going on number six now. Cool. What do the Ghostbusters use as their headquarters? Oh. Um, it's a um, oh, what would you call it? Like a like a fire department. So it's an old dilapidated fire firehouse. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Exactly yeah. that okay. firehouse, indeed. And uh, yeah, perfectly correct. Technically, it's like cool. I don't know what I, the text is too small, but there's some address that they call it by that firehouse. But I was like, we're just going for firehouse. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to ask you. Okay. The, the cool. exact address but nope correct another one correct oh, yeah. going to question seven in the simpsons movie what does homer put in the <laughs> lake to critically pollute it requiring springfield to get locked oh. down with the dome over it it's a it's a silo filled of pig shit <laughs> wow good pull this came from your list of movies you watched a ton as a kid yeah. i don't know the last time you re revisit the simpsons yeah. movie i watched it a ton as a kid too. i, I have loved not it. seen this yeah I'm yeah, not I, but I, I did not remember this at all. I, I was just looking at trivia and I was like, I, I did not remember this. I, I didn't remember anything. Like, do you remember? Like, I remember Green Day is at the beginning of it, you know, playing a, on the yeah. lake mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. dissolve in acid. But no, good pull, good pull on the 10 points there. There um, you go. You're doing very well going on to question eight, the last of the standard trivia questions. Cool. In Drive My Ooh. Car, Yasuki is directing a multilingual production of what play? Oh, um, Uncle Vanya. Wow, I put that last because I thought that was going to be a challenging <laughs> one to remember because I love driving That's my cool. car, but if I was asked that question on the spot, I don't think I'd remember the name, but you got it, Uncle Vanya. Yeah. Perfect. You only got one question yeah. wrong there in the general trivia, so you're at 55 right now. It's still two questions left, for, uh, so you have the chance oh, okay. to get up to 85 or no, 90 here, so let's, let's see if we can keep this rolling. Now we're going on to a little letterbox graph Ooh, match. Okay. So you're not going to know the, the score, but they're, I mean, they're all relatively similar scores, but the graph reveals yep. a lot of information about these movies. So we have Damien Chazelle's mm -hmm. first man. We have rush hour, the first one, and we have Peter Pan from 2003. And we have the three graphs you see down below a, B and C match these things up for me. Okay. So I am where I'm at with this is the A has a very highly inflated five stars. Now, I'm kind of between two films on that. It's either going to be Rush Hour or Peter Pan. I'm thinking it's going to be Rush Hour. And the reason I'm thinking Rush Hour is because Rush Hour is just a, a classic. Like, it's it's a phenomenal film. And I think that, like, people are going to give that that edge of, like, this is, like, up there. I think... Peter Pan, and I revisited the, the 2003 Peter Pan film a while ago, and I remember actually thinking, like, this is actually pretty good. 
I actually quite like it. So I'm I'm thinking that's remained a childhood classic for some, which is going to bump up that five star a little bit, but not as much as something like Rush Hour. So I'm thinking that would be B. And for something like First Man, I'm thinking it's a bit more of a serious drama, historical film. I think people are going to take rating that film, and it's a bit more modern, take the rating of that film a little bit more seriously. So I think it's going to have a bit more of a standard graph. So I'm thinking two is A, three is B, and one is C. Okay, locking that in? Yep. You got one of them right, first man. I thought that was, I think that was like you said, the kind of standard graph makes sense. But yeah, it was real tricky there with B and A because both of them, like you mentioned, that, both have inflated five stars. That, but Peter how? Pan, people look back on it. If they don't inflate it to a five star, they're kind of being a little harsher and given mostly just on the threes or so, as opposed to rush hour, which is mostly oh, standardish you're, you're graph so right. and five star. You're so right. But uh, I, you, I love the thought yeah. process. Made a lot of sense. You got five points there. So you're at 60 now. Mm-hmm. Opportunity to get up to 80 here if you get 20 in the last question here. And that question is going to be the, the guest, the cast, returning once again. I'm going to show you one cast member, and you're going to tell me what movie it is. And, you know, obviously, if you get it wrong on that guest, we're just going to move on to the next cast member, losing five points each time. The first cast member we have is Olivia Coleman. Which Olivia Coleman oh, movie cool. is this? Um, I actually can't pinpoint a film that she's in. Um, besides, let's just go Wonka. I think she's in Wonka, right? She is in Wonka, but that is not the correct movie. So next cast member for 15 points, <laughs> Leah Sado or Sado. Leah Sado. Oh, where is she showing up? She shows up a lot, eh? <laughs> it's like Leah Sado just shows up in films. Um, she's in Ghost Protocol. She's briefly in like Dune Part Two. She's um, she's in um, oh, is it um, is it the French Dispatch maybe? French de- French Dispatch is not correct. On to the next okay. movie. Rachel Vice. So we got Olivia Coleman, Leah Sedu, and Rachel Vice. Mm. <laughs> I genuinely have no idea. Mm. Oh man. Oh. I'm stumped. Um Like, is it, um, mm. <laughs> I'm stuck with the Leia Sedu thing because I think she just shows up quite a bit and I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm always like, like, what other films is like she in? I think that's kind of the one I'm sort of relying on here. Um, yep, yeah, I'm stumped. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> we'll, one, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll reveal one more cast remember the, the guest to cast this season been been claiming bodies it has been a tough one this season okay. colin farrell in the final oh is is it um oh freaking hell is it um oh is it oh, you don't not. have to lock anything but lock anything in yet but what oh, are you thinking oh it's um is it the last lobster isn't it it is the lobster. Five <laughs> points yeah. there. You at least d- didn't do like Doug, who ended up not even getting it at all. But that five points actually mm-hmm. ended up proving pretty uh, crucial, though, because that puts you in second place. Owen was in second place with 60. So if you would have failed there, you would have been tied with Owen. But this bumps you into second okay. place here on the on the first nice. part. So do very well. You know, George, well, I guess now you also know the other people so far in your grouping. But George, Owen, uh-huh. and yourself are, are in that tight grouping. And Doug is... In a, in a trunk below there, but did very well in the trivia today. Puts you in a second awesome. place. Of course, it's going to be averaged out with what you do on uh, on the Friday episode of the Real Reveal, but how are you feeling about your performance mm-hmm. today? You started off scorching hot, faltered a bit Oof. at the end, but still a very good score. Yeah, no, I was I was very happy that I was able to sort of prove myself in the um, 
uh, with the more general trivia questions. Um, yeah, I I end up remembering random things. Uh, obviously not rock rock well, but um, everything else mm -hmm. solid. So yeah, no, I feel pretty good. Yeah, absolutely crushed it. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this episode. A reminder, the new movie reveal game is officially released now. So if you want to play movie reveal, mm -hmm. which you're going to see novice play three rounds of on Friday, you can play it yourself every single day, moviereveal.io, and it'll let you play and see how you stack up against everyone else on both the normal and the deep cut. But new episodes every Tuesday and Friday. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment down below, cheer on novice. How, how far do you see him going this season? Um, but with that, we will see you Friday when you, uh, they're going to be back here. And we're going to be doing the real reveal game. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Peace.